Sisters, it's Knox and Harvey, and we're gonna be going over some of our August favorites. Uh, I didn't really think he was gonna be joining us for this, but he has made himself a little area, and I guess he's hanging out. Okay. First, let's talk about Sweat Fest, and by that, I mean let's talk about Arch versus Texas. This game was awesome, and I'm not just saying that because I'm from Arch and I'm super duper biased. It was just a really great game. Some Arch skaters had, you know, performances of the season. I don't know, that wasn't my words, I don't know. I'm just saying. And it was especially cool because it was the five six seeds, and to have such a point spread, I don't know when the last time um, the five six seed had such a spread. I don't know, someone let me know in the comments. Do you know? Mr. Pouty. And speaking of Arch Rival, the Great Spain Rename uh, fundraiser has been one of my favorite fundraisers I think I've ever seen. The joke is that nobody really knows where Arch Rival is from, which is frustrating because Arch has been around quite a while. And it ended up coming down to the Arch Rival Minnesota All-Stars and the Crop Top Babe Gang. I voted for Crop Top Babe Gang because I'm all about the Crop Top life. But Minnesota has always and will always have my heart. So it was a real tough call. Another one of my August favorites was a post from Derby photographer Sean Hale. It was like 10 ways to make your team photographer feel the warm and fuzzies during playoff and chance. Yeah, I think I butchered that, sorry. But it was really great because of course photographers do not get enough love and I think some of that might be people not knowing how to reach out and make that connection. So I really loved um, all of Sean's ideas there and I will share a link in the comments below. Okay, this one's not totally derby related, but definitely derby applicable. A really great tool I've been using a lot this month is Canva. If you haven't heard of Canva, it's a really great, easy to use graphic design tool. They have free accounts, but you can also pay for extra features. Um, I do because I used it for everything. I am not sponsored by them even though I wish I was. I know a ton of people that use them for their bout flyers, social media stuff. They have you know all the dimensions preset. It's a really, really great tool. If your marketing team isn't using it, I highly recommend checking it out. Next, let's talk about the Keizu Cup, the WF Today's first Continental Cup. I didn't tune in, but I was checking up on Northstar because two of my best friends are there. But this is on the list because it's the first Continental Cup. Derby on Toast reported that after just 10 games, all the brackets had busted, uh, which had never happened before, so it's a very very interesting and exciting time this WFTA postseason. And lastly, my Robe Regime lipstick, which I am wearing on my face right now. I've actually worn it in multiple videos. I have posted about it on social media, and if you know me in real life, I feel like I talk about it like all the time. I've worn it through bouts, I wear it to work, and it just lasts. Keep an eye out for a review video that I did with some more tribal skaters. I'm really excited to show it to you. I also want to give a quick shout out to three of my lovely patrons, Daniel, Diane, and one of my best friends, Henny. Thank you all so much for your support. I can't tell you how much it means to me. If you want to have a special place in my heart like these lovely people, you can support me on Patreon. Check it out, patreon.com backslash Talks. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to catch me in the meantime, before the next video, you can find me at any of these places. Let's talk about Reller Derby.